Hey, what's up? What's up, Gare? What's up, Lunell? You know, here I am again. Yeah, my, you're my first return guest Isn't on the Get Some amazing? Podcast. You wanted to get some more. Wait, 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 wait. What's that tattoo? No, oh, print my Prince tattoo. You ain't gonna believe this shit. You are not. Show the tattoo. <laughs> this was not planned. Oh, no, Gary, what? The fucking oh! shirt! <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit. What are the bit, chances? I, I'm gonna tell you what the chances are. Here's, here's how that happened. I'm gonna tell you how that happened. Because I'm low key psychic. The other day, I got, I got the pictures. The other day, I had an interview with Russell Peters. Yeah. I showed up in a Red Fox sweatshirt and he had on a Red Fox t shirt. I saw that picture. What are the chances you got the tattoo? Uh huh. And I put on a. Undershirt, you wore a shirt, but I got I, I I drew blood from Prince. Well, you let me tell you, give me you got to give me your sizes. Yeah. Because yeah, because I need one of those. You got one of those for me? I don't. I don't. What you got for me? Um, let me see. What size are you? But you need to know what my size is for. So I got no t-shirt. My size get... or what? What's your size? I'm an XL. <laughs> yeah. Wide. What? Where? <laughs> I'm, I'm a circumcised XL. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, yeah, you seen you no, seen Star you Wars? Yeah, Darth Vader, baby. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, um, no, what you got for me? Well, we only we got a couple extra T-shirts here if they get some, but I don't know what size you are. I don't want that. Okay. <laughs> I want a cup. I want a coffee mug. You can have this one. You want that one? Yeah. Let me see. Is okay. it clean? What you yeah, can okay. wash it. It's clean. I Have really you drank out of this? I haven't. Okay. That's on. That's on my um, the merch website, oh. shop.garyowen.com. Oh, Where yeah. you put my shit? Because I need <laughs> all my Gary Owen merch, and you yeah. can go to heylunell.com for all my merchandise as well. Mm -hmm. But this shirt, I got, I got all these print shirts, and every time I'm out, people do are like, you do you collect them? Like, yeah. Or people well, they they always say, "Where'd you get it?" At the Minneapolis airport. What does it say? All, all his album titles and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. It's at, if you go the, if you ever get a layover at the Minneapolis Minneapolis airport. And who does it? You know they got that big middle area that kind of goes. There's a print store right there, and I go in there, and the shirts are good quality. I didn't know that. Comfortable. Like, Have feel you been it. to Paisley Park? Have you been to Paisley? Yeah. I like that. You have. I got the the private tour. Did I hear you talking about that? What? I'm trying to think that I hear you talking about it. How you got a private tour? <laughs> Clout. <laughs> so what? I got a private tour of the, of the, of the, of a place one time. What? I got a private tour of the, um, you know, uh, in Memphis where Martin Luther King Jr. was murdered at the Lorraine Motel. Yeah. So there's black. Um, Museum, African American Museum, connected to it and yeah. stuff, and it's really you know a lot to go through. But I got a private tour of that, and I, I got a private tour of Motown too. Mm, I didn't get a private tour. Uh, hold on, coming in hot. Ooh, thanks, darling. What is that? It's commissary. It's some coffee. What? What's in it? Is it like an almond milk hazelnut it's latte? It's an almond milk hazelnut latte. How, did, how do you come to find out that's your drink? Okay, well, I love hazelnut, anything. And um, almond milk is better than soy milk after doing all the milk research mm -hmm. and other cashew milk and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just not trying to fart through my photo shoot that I have later today. So I decided, you know, if I got to do coffee, I better go almond milk. Have you tried oat milk? I haven't tried that, but I'm going to. That's what I got. You do? I like it. It's that same place, huh? Yeah. I got a, um, I got it by accident. Like, I was trying to get a, not fart, because I, I, I can get gassy with some dairy in me. Yeah. So I was like, I went to one place, and I said, yeah, almond milk, we got oat. And I go, ugh. And the guy goes, try it, dude. Most people like it. If you like almond, you like oat. And I go, all right. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, well, it's all good, you know. It's all good. Well, I want to talk about Prince one more time, though. Okay. So you went to Paisley Park. Mm hmm Did you? Who did you go with? Uh, my opener, and I was working the comedy club, and they linked me up with somebody that took me around. So, 
What did you think? It's weird because you walk through it and you'd be like, wait a minute, this guy lived here? Well, actually, I heard that he's got, you know, other houses. And I'm, other I'm sure. Houses. But he did a lot there. Like, you know, he rehearsed he there. And he, yeah, he rehearsed there. He shot there. I think he even did part of Under the Cherry Moon there. And then he has his wardrobe stuff there, made there. The vault is there. Mm-hmm. He died there. What I found in, when I pulled up, I go, I think he really had a parking lot. I don't think they built that parking lot for the house because they got parking spots. It, I, it just, I was like, did he have a real parking lot? It looks like like a Target parking lot. Yeah, there used to be a bus in the back too. You know, he had a bus. His own bus? Uh-huh, obviously. his own bus. He's got motorcycles and all that stuff. What did you see? And did you steal anything? No, I didn't steal anything. <laughs> you think I stole Kinda something? Kind of tourist to you. <laughs> I touched something. They said, don't touch. I'd be like, I touched it. What was it? Just like, just like, um, and bedrooms and stuff. I'm dying to go upstairs at Graceland, and I'm dying to go upstairs at Paisley Park. I've never been to Graceland. Yeah. It was, it was fun. Graceland? Yeah. It's probably so dated now, because he's so, been dead for so long. But it, but it, well, I mean, some, I personally, I'm, I like that era. So I can move in Graceland as is right yeah. now today with all the jungle room and all that shit. I like it. But There's a jungle room in Graceland? Yeah. You don't know anything about your white icons? Well, I know he had he liked peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Fried right? peanut Fried. butter and banana. And it showed. So you don't even know that. And it showed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like this. Wow. Yeah, he had a whole I'm thing. sorry. That yeah, was rude. Your phone is on. Oh, that was so my fault. Mine. That was stupid. Um, Wasn't even a real phone call. Okay, but back to Paisley. So could you feel anything in there? Like, did you feel him? Because people go to Grace and they're like, Elvis is here. I can feel him. I can oh. feel his spirit. <laughs> no, they say that. The, the people that go to Graceland, I can feel him right here in this kitchen. Sure, you used to eat right over there. I can feel you, Elvis. They're why, like why, why are you making fun of my family right now? <laughs> <laughs> Gary. Gary, come here. <laughs> well, you got to feel I'm, this. You know, I was born in Arkansas, so a little, little southern twang don't, don't, is not foreign to me. I've also been to Shenandoah. Now, that is where my friend Wayne Newton lives. Have you been to Shenandoah? Is that in Have Tennessee? Have you been to Liberace's house? See, I'm, no. a, I'm a culture vulture like uh-uh. that. Uh-uh. Yeah. I don't even know where Shenandoah is. Shenandoah's in Vegas, and so oh. is Liberace's Vegas house, which has now been restored and updated. Been to Versace's? Somewhere. No, I haven't been to Versace. In Miami? Miami? Yeah. No. Have you? No. Mm-mm. I'm thinking, have you uh, been to Russell Peters' house? You been there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I called you. Is it? Because, yeah. Got well, jelly, didn't you, when you saw me with Russell? No, I'm, I'm staying there. I stay there. So. Fuck <laughs> That's really where I stay well, when I come to LA. told me that I could have free reign of the house if I wanted to have a little birthday um, coming to America kickoff soiree. Oh, really? Yes. And his girlfriend likes me, too. Isn't she great? And I met their baby and, I, and their little puppy. Dude, that dog is so little. Oh. I don't care. I wanted. I tried to sneak it out in my in my bag, but the kid fucking busted me before I could get to the door. Dude, that and, dog and all that shit. So that dog is the size of this. And no, cup. the dog is the size of the water bottle. I'll put it like least. this: we could put the dog underneath this helmet, and it could hang out yeah, comfortably. That's true. For real. <laughs> yeah. It's that little. I think it's like a pug. It's a, it a mini pug. pug. Mm-hmm. That's like if the wind blows, that dog's fucked. But Russell is so rich. Right? For mm-hmm. a comic. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, the deal is that all you got. You know what? Isn't that wild that you don't know any really rich female comics? Now, Wanda got money, but she's done a lot of movies and stuff like that. Russell did made his bread. I asked him, because I'm like, you, this is you? And you was at, you're at the new house. Did you see the old house in Hidden Hills? He told me he downsized yeah. to get to the, the house right. where I was at going like that. No, the old house was more lived in. It was a little more dated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was way bigger. This one's newer. Is this from is doing arena shows and shit like this? It's, yeah. 
You got to realize he's been Forbes like top ten paid comics for like fifteen he's years. In, he's Indian. All them Indians. Canada. Well, you know what's crazy They're is loyal and a motherfucker. I like Indians. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they would fuck with me. Everyone I talk to Make that works rich. at Russ, they're like, yeah. I go, how is it like when you go overseas or in the state side? They go, his audience doesn't give a fuck about the openers. They're like, when's Russ coming on? <laughs> they're polite. They'll laugh, but they're like this. Oh, we're here to see Russ. Can we move this along, please? <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Well, you know, I haven't been an opener in so long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of remember something like that. Uh, well, I'm I'm glad I, I'm following you on social media and Russ because that's where I saw you, and I go oh because you know last time we talked was when you had your knee surgery. Yeah, I had it. How was that? It's it's good. I'm gonna was go it back a knee replacement? Knee replacement. I'm going to get the right knee done um, March April, and uh, the end of March. I mean April, the end of this month March. <laughs> April. We're really taping this early, but I'm supposed to pretend like we're doing it in March. Yeah, oh, no, I I'm want, no, dirt. this is, I'm airing you during Black History Month. Boom. Because you're a black queen. Fucking right. Yeah. <laughs> Not I bringing on Joseph Secor this month. Hell no. He ain't black. I, I, well, he's cute though. Yeah. But I, um, I had the knee surgery, it was major. I did it in Texas because my sister, okay, uh, this uh, thing, osteoarthritis or whatever runs in my family. I guess, you know, mm -hmm. being slaves and shit and being that. Oh, can't come out on that. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> you know but what, uh, black people, you know what the funny shit is about slavery? Not funny, but. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Wait, edit that shit. What sorry. the fuck's funny about slavery? <laughs> slavery. You're going to make me come out my Oakland jacket, Gary. That came out wrong. This is Oakland. You know what's funny about slavery? I'm already ready. Oh, that's so, Oakland. This is Oakland. Oh, yeah, they got good Ooh. stuff. See? Okay. Yeah, they did. They send you that, right? Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, because yeah. you rep them hard. I do. They got some bad shit. I I I, I like this stuff. I but, gotta make but, it. But but the osteoarthritis runs in my family. I have two cousins that had knee replacement surgery, and my sister had knee replacement surgery. My cousins did not do all their physical therapy. I don't think so. They're a little gimpy. But my sister is a nurse. She just retired last year, so she had the surgery. And I saw her in the first week of her recovery, and then I was on the road, and the next thing I knew, she was skipping around. So I said, well, I want your surgeon if I'm going to do this. So I went to Texas. I had her surgeon. What they didn't show me was the, the process to get from the surgery to bopping around. It's a thing called physical therapy. Right. Okay. <laughs> And I'm notorious for not working out. No. I don't know how I maintain this fantastic body without working out or doing anything <laughs> other than eating and laying immediately down. You know, that's my workout. So. Laying down by yourself? Well, that's, you're getting personal. That's a little workout. Gary. Well, now you think I got these bad knees. <laughs> <laughs> All that squatting in the 70s. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sucking dick to dolomite. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I did do a lot of squatting in the 70s. I, I'm, I'm not, I never met a horse. I can't ride, but I'm just saying. Wow. Um, <laughs> wow. So I wow. had to say. I might air this in May, right, for the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. I'm not even going to show you my tricks. But I, I, I had the fucking surgery. The surgery was um, nothing. The surgery wasn't shit. How long yeah. was the surgery? Like, I don't know, a couple hours, I guess. I guess. Okay. I don't know. But I didn't ask that, but I'm, you know, there was like, don't watch it on YouTube, so I didn't, and I'm still not. But I, I, the surgery was not shit. It's the two weeks after that, when all the pain meds is out of your body, and you don't get to lay and recuperate, you got to get up that day. I'm like, what do you mean? I just got fucking knew, you want me, excuse me, to get up, and, and you have to. Blood clots and all that kind of stuff, mm. and I had to work out. <laughs> I had to work out three days a week with a physical therapist who come to the house, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for three weeks. Then I had to do four weeks of outpatient therapy, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, at the hospital gym. So you were there for, you was in Texas for seven weeks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rehabbing? Yeah. So you're clearly not working. No. Mm -mm. Well, I didn't work in the club, 
but I still continue doing my YouTube show. Yeah. I have a show. Give it, pump it. It's called Hey Lunell. It's on YouTube, and it's fantastic. And if you want to join the 47,000, 43,000 subscribers that are already there, I would love to have you. Well, I'll tell you this. As soon as you said that, you said 43, and you said 47. I said 47, then I realistically Right, but it'll be 47 once the people that watch my podcast... Bounce over to me. Facts. Bounce off Gary, watch. bounce on over. You got that factor? Watch out. You got that Oprah watch, thing? Watch you get 4,000 new you, subscribers. You got Say it that again. Oprah what thing? is it? Hey, Lunell. Hey, Lunell. H-E-Y-L-U-E-N-E-L-L on YouTube. Calling it 50K. Okay, right on. 50K. So for St. Patrick's Day. I did that still. I I would like I didn't do it in the high production that I do in my studio in in, in the Sherman Oaks. But you know, like my nephew is very astute on the laptop camera. You have like a home studio like everybody does now. So my nephew shot me, you know, I hobbled over there to his house or I do a little YouTube in the my sister's bathroom, which I call it the office because she's got a whole, you know, like counter space and vanity and chair and stuff. So I continued to do that. And then there was voiceover stuff that I did while I was in Texas. So I, I worked, but I didn't work in the clubs. Yeah. I, haven't done a, I haven't done a stand-up show since um, March 9th of 20. Shut 20. up. Not one. We got to get you. Know what, you know what you got to do? Are, do you want to go back up? Uh, not till about June. Mm-mm. Why? Well, let even me if see. it's COVID safe, like socially distanced. I did. Okay, I can tell you what I just did. Do you know who Kev on stage is? Uh, I've heard him. Okay, he's got this show I did. It's actually pretty dope. It's called Socially Distanced Comedy, where you get COVID tested, right? So you gotta be safe. It's only an audience of like fifty people in, in a sound stage, and but they can people can download it. Only for 48 hours, and then it gets taken off. Um, but he pays decent. It's a good show. It's in L.A. I can, I can make a call if you want. I was going to say, he ain't asked me to do the motherfucker. Well, the only reason he did, only reason he asked me, he honestly said, I didn't even think of you because... Because <laughs> you're so big. Yeah. <laughs> but I had him on the podcast. And so, you know, I think that's the good thing about the podcast is... You get people to come on and you're like, hey, do this, do this, you know. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I'm really kind of shitty about the whole situation. First of all, I don't, I definitely do not and have not and probably will not do any virtual comedy shows because people's internet be janky, you know, the feed or something, and then your joke falls flat because the punchline got interfered with. And I just don't, I think it's, it, for me, it's, it just feels kind of hacky. You know, um, I hacked the shit out of that show. I'm sure you did. <laughs> well, you got more kids than I do, and a wife and shit. And I don't. I don't have. My kids are all grown. Thing. They're not all over all 18. Of, not all of them. It, your your girl is. She's 18. in college. She's at North Carolina A&T University, HBCU. Called that shit. I knew my kid was going to HBCU. I knew. I knew her from birth. She did a double take when she came out. She went, you want your son to. I know you want to date anybody. You want to get a sister. You want to get a white girl. Um, be honest. I probably want. Well, my oldest son is. I'm just waiting for him to tell me he's getting married. His his girlfriend's white. My daughter for sure is gonna marry a black dude for sure. And then my son. The verdict's still out on that dude. But uh, the the he's the my youngest um son. I don't know. He'll probably get be the white girl, but. I, I would like to see him with a black girl. Cause do you know after like three generations, like the black is just out of the kids? What do you mean? I mean like, okay, your kids are mixed. Yeah. Then they, he married a white girl. Yeah. Then those kids would be just like the third. Mm-hmm. And then she married a white boy and then it's, it's all gone. Damn. Yeah, my daughter's got to keep that black in the family. Somebody should. Yeah. Hopefully my son, I don't know. My son, I, don't, I really don't know what he's going to date. I don't know. He hasn't really shown an interest like that yet. I don't know. In my family, the uh, my nephew is married to a Filipino lady. Ooh. My niece is married to a very handsome white guy. My a couple of my other nephews got some white girls hanging around. 
And um, they're on the bay. No, they're all mm -hmm. in the south. Wow, even Texas more shocking. And, uh, well, Texas isn't really. I don't consider that like the Mississippi, Alabama South. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> Not the big cities. I, I just I stick to the big cities. I don't know about the small towns. Oh, oh yes, it is. The, the, the big cities too. Mm -hmm. You want to do a demographic of them insurrectionists that was up in the goddamn capital? I think they picked up a couple of them in Texas. Shit. But um, I was just okay. I was just curious. You know, no, no biggie. I'm always fighting for the sisters. You know. Me too. I I always thought that in like 200 years, my family tree is just gonna be dark as shit. And I'm gonna be that one branch. It won't. Like if your sons guy, keep like, it, black. It, it won't. It's got your your family tree is gonna have a little like little coffee stain right here, and that's you and your wife and the kids. And then this is gonna go back white. I don't think so. We'll see. Well, my daughter's gonna keep it black. I know that. I, she'll, I hope so. She's gonna keep that. She know what time it is. But she won't have my I last like name. I would like to see one of your sons. Uh, you, you know, but she won't have my last name. She could keep it. Yeah, yeah, she probably will. She, she she's very it. like. If, if I was an Owen, I would, I would keep Owen, no S. Yeah, I would, Thank I would you. keep the Owen. Hmm. I wonder. I don't know what my youngest son's gonna be with. I, have, I really don't know. I really don't. He'd probably be. You know what? He'll probably, he'll probably be with like somebody like Russell. He probably Peters go halfway. Ethnicity. Yeah, you might get a Latina, or you might um, get like you know. The Filipino girls are, are very popular amongst the guys. Mm. Well, yeah. I know we was in, um, I took my son to Huntsville, Alabama. Have you done that club <clears throat> in the past? What's the name of it? Um, Stand Up Live. I think I have. Huntsville. Well, there's not a lot to do in Huntsville, so we basically went to Top Golf every night. And I just remember I'm sitting there, we're playing Top Golf, and these, there's like these four or five college girls over here, right? And this sister came up to my son and came up behind him. And she was so tipsy. She goes, I've been waiting to do this to you all night. And came up and helped him with a swing. And then one of my guys go, oh, God. And then somebody said, that's his dad. And they're going, oh, my God. I go, it's cool, baby girl. <laughs> but I was like, what kind of aggressive ass one <laughs> comes in somebody else's pod? I've been waiting to do this to you all night. And came up behind him. That was I, I have no... I'm, but that's no, the kind of sister I'm going to need to just to go basically him. go to after go him. him. Yeah, because he, look, he looked at me like shocked, like, Dad, what do I do? I was like, do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you, boo-boo? Everybody didn't come out with the confidence you have, Gary. Yeah. I didn't really get my confidence until I started doing stand-up, though. Well, stand-up will give you some goddamn, you goddamn confidence. Right it would. <laughs> I, look, I look at the level of women that I dated. Before I was doing a stand up, and then once I started being a stand up, I was like, this, dude, not even close. Actually, when I got to LA, I was the kissing bandit. I just wanted to kiss girls on TV. I didn't sleep around a lot, yeah. but I was the, my tongue went down at least 10 girls' mouths that was on UPN or WB. <laughs> Was not the whore, but man, I was French kids. You was out there, you was out there giving the <laughs> no, 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 college no, try. I called my boys. Hey, you watching a different world? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> She's about to walk in. Yeah, yeah, I kissed her last night. <laughs> we was at Barney's Beanery. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so fucking stupid. Oh, God. oh, I remember. I remember. I mean, I I did the show with you in Oakland. I think. Uh, I think I kissed somebody that night. It wasn't did. me. It wasn't Just you. for the record. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gary's tongue has never been in here. You're right. Just, just for the record. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He you should sure? never, never done nothing. Like I think that. we, yeah, I think we kiss on lips. Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I never kissed you. There you go, Lunel. You ain't gonna get my ass whooped by your <laughs> Oakland wife. <laughs> this no. is before hey, her. Girl. Oh. This is before her. I always say hey to her. I don't think we've ever met. Have we met? Me and your wife? He had to. I don't, I'm sure, but I here's the thing. Night, but I don't remember. There's no doubt you guys have the same inner circle, though. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. there's no doubt. Just, you guys, Oakland is, I don't know, Oakland entertainment world is so small <laughs> and very supportive, by the way. Like, I like that. Did you like the E40? Um, E40 too short me versus so much liquor last yesterday. I came home, I had, because <clears throat> on my YouTube the, show, let, let me just say, and I'm going to talk about the verses because that was fun. Yeah. When I started my YouTube show, 
How did I get? Uh, I had 40 here that already gave me some, some wine. Now, listen, <clears throat> not only does he have mango scotto, mango scotto, tropiscottos, and, you know, these lovely, blushy flavored wines that girls like, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't you like, like a scotto type thing? Okay, so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to promote this on my show. We did a whole commercial, made a whole commercial about it, not for no money or for any other reason than I love 40, love 40. And the wine was good. So then we ran out. <laughs> so I'm like, 40. I talked to him on the day of the verses. Hmm. Excuse me, this shit, a little goat shit, whatever is this that's shit. Right. No, that's making almond me milk. <laughs> almond making me burp. I should have just drank the fucking beer. Anyway, um, see, what's going on with this? What is this? You know, well, so, well, take some water. Wash your I, I'm scared. <laughs> No, I don't need to pee. I got a photo shoot today. Watch the, Okay, anyway. So <clears throat> so I talked to Forty on the day of the verse. I talked to him and I talked to Short. And I said, Forty, I don't I need you to send me some more some more wine. He said, I got you, you know, baby girl, blah, 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 blah. So I come home last night and uh my assistant had came to my house to do some stuff, but did not check the front porch. So on the front porch, I had these two big-ass boxes that I had to push in myself. And I don't do manual labor. I told you I don't exercise. I'm just blessed, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I, uh, 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 I pushed the fucking boxes in, and I got the knife, and I opened them up. Forty has sent me, like, eight bottles of cognac. He sent me... Like wines, all his wines and some new champagne, some bubbly stuff. So I've got all this liquor now for me, forty, and I, mm -mm, I, I'm not, I'm not drinking the yak like I used to, but I will be set for Christmases to come because I do <laughs> spike my eggnog that's been called eggnod, eggnod with eggnod. I, I spike my eggnod with with cognac, so I'm set for all that, and I'll be drinking it on my show. So, yeah, that's my. Recent E forty story. Do you uh do you watch his um goon with the spoon? <laughs> no. Do you ever watch his cooking stuff? No. He's got this thing. It's called Goon with the Spoon. <laughs> and every time I go to the bay, my first joke, and you know you don't never want to tell your jokes on a podcast, but it's I only do it in the bay. I go E forty is the only guy that could just say the simplest shit and have these young kids bounce into it. I go, he goes, yeah, I'll make my catfish in that cornmeal batter. I'll make it like that so I don't get fatter. I said, I said, and the kids are in the club going, cornmeal batter, yeah, cornmeal batter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't getting fatter in that cornmeal batter. Forty has his own language Ooh. and his own dialect, and there'll never be another, and there's never one before him. He really did that. And he makes it so simple. You know what he's like? He's like the hip-hop version of Mitch Hedberg when he was a comedian. Because Mitch Hedberg would say the simplest shit. You'd be like, why didn't I think of that? And then E-40 <laughs> will do the same shit. He'll think of something, you know, yeah, two scoops in a flavor cone, make you want to go home. Be like this, what? I, I didn't get that, but I, I but wish I would have thought the thing about listening to 40 is that your ears have to catch up with him. He go, and you're yep. like, oh, yep. you know what I mean? Your ears have to catch them. I love him. And I did watch the verses, and I loved their verses the best because it was just fun. It wasn't like we Tense. battling each other. Yeah. We got beef. You know, that Gucci man fucking Jeezy shit had me nervous. Oh, my God. Had me nervous. You know, I In was like. In the dirt. I was, In yeah. the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, like, and I'll what? do it again. I'm like, oh, oh man, this is fucked up. Well, here's the funny. At the end of that, verses. When they said, all right, we're all going to compound to celebrate. The people on the side, I was like, how many people were in that fucking room? Like E-40 and Too Short probably had five people total. Yeah. Um, that Jeezy uh, didn't have a whole bunch of people. He had a little squad, but um, Gucci had a squad. Mm -hmm. And then I saw like security, out, you know, walking in out of the car and all this kind of stuff. Whatever. Who wants to live like that? But um, That's what I'm saying. Unless you're Prince... Yeah. Michael Jackson, yes. where the security isn't for your safety because there's beef. The security because you are such an icon. That Fans everybody go nuts. will lose their mind the minute right. they see you. 
But if you gotta, you gotta have 10, 20 people around you just because to you're talk shit and somebody's out to get you. Who I'm, wants to live like that? That's what I'm saying. I'll be like this. I gotta change the way I'm doing so shit. So 40s and and two shorts was not like that. No, not and at all. and we really just don't beef with each other in the bay like that. Like you said, you supportive. Earlier, we support. Keep the sneak each other. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh. Yeah, and um. I know all my Bay Area people. My Mac Dre's and shit like that. <laughs> but uh, now What's the up, other Keisha one Cole? that was t- tense was Keisha. Keisha and and <laughs> I have to be very careful what I say about that. You know, was it tenser than Leslie Jones and you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you Keisha or Shante We're in that beat? We're not going to go. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I'll be honest with you. I never knew you two had beef till I saw the interview. We didn't. It was just you guys didn't she like each other? She did. Oh, she did. Okay. Yeah. And then if somebody's not messing with you, then of course you're not messing with them. So it was like... What did, what did it stem from? I'm not trying to rehash it. No, I but start. I mean, That's not what the been, about. apparently it's been a topic of conversation. Really? Because, yeah. Well, because, I, never heard of, I never heard anything about well, it. Well, after... <clears throat> excuse me. I think I did Comedy Hype or something and they asked me... No. I, yeah, I did something, and they uh, asked me about it, and then it became like a little mini headline. Comedy hype. Asked. They tried to go in on me. They went in on me. They the, just tore me up. Comedy hype? Yeah. Like, just I did an interview with them like three weeks ago. Yeah. It was great. And then I did something at home, and then they tore me up. You want to know what it was? Yeah. I got asked by somebody in my DMs, F, when Black History Month started in February, would I post this thing about counseling for gay, lesbian, and trans youth between the ages of 12 and 21? Mm -hmm. This is about mental health. Right. Whether you're fucking, whatever. Everybody I feel right now could use a little mental health, you know? (laughs) Counseling. Everybody. (laughs) So I I didn't say I would, and I didn't say I wouldn't. I just kept the thing, because I'm like, hmm, you know, I mean, I got gay people in my family, you know what I'm saying, that I love dearly. We all do, even if we don't know, we do. (laughs) Yeah, that (laughs) means you, too. So I thought about it, and I held on to it, and so then I, um, what that mean? What the fuck that mean? He gives me, so I know where we're at, so I'm not being rude. So you don't have a, another interview today. You just told me. He just lets me. I'm, here's the thing. So we're on a time. I'm ex-military. I'm no, this. I'm ex-military. Some, no, I'm an very, ex-con. We're What's very time point? conscious. So no matter what, I said, give me the 30-minute mark. Is it mark, lights out? The hour-minute mark. Is the it hour 30. So he just he gave me the 30-minute mark. That's all that was. Let's me know where we're at. Okay. Finish mental health gay. I lesbian. posted the fucking thing, right? Mm-hmm. And then all my people started coming for me. What this gay shit got to do with black life and black and black history month? And I'm tired of the gay agenda being pushed on us. It's not the same and it doesn't compare and all this shit. I just did it because I think that there are a lot of youth out here who are not talking to their parents, are not talking to anybody. They got feelings, they got stuff. And it was a good thing for online counseling. It did say Black History Month at the top, and so fucking what? So I posted that, and then everybody was uh, in, in my on my own page. Oh, Linnell, you're just a mark, and the da 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 da. Why you being used by the oppressor and all this kind of shit? I'm Jesus. like motherfucker. Yeah, I'm like I'm just doing this for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Grown folks you can figure your own shit out, but for the kids, I did it. And then, <clears throat> so then I went off legendarily as. One of my good old throwback Lunell fuck yeah. everybody in this motherfucking speech. I and, love that Lunell. Well, that Lunell is on my Instagram, <laughs> at Lunell on Instagram. You can see the post and you can see my response. Ooh, I'm going to like that immediately. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll pull it up. I'll play it before I'll we pull leave. Pull it up right now while you're talking. <laughs> Put on sign and just give it a like. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll show you which one it was. <laughs> Let's see. Mm-hmm. First of all, it was, it was my, my look. It was, see, the post is right here. Right here, you can be kind, right? The post is right there. Okay. Okay, there. Let me like that. Okay. I liked it. And then the response to everybody, me telling everybody to go eat a dick, is right there. You can look at my face. Hold on. Gary. Ooh. 
That it didn't start yet because I'm like, come uh, on in, everybody, come, come on, on in. Okay, how long is this? Uh, like three minutes. Six thousand nine hundred and seventy-two comments. Yeah, and look I at can't. how many views. Two hundred fifty-six thousand. Yeah. Ooh, I can't wait to see that so. when this is over. So, <clears throat> so anyway, I was like, fuck everybody, put whatever I want to on my motherfucking page, eat a dick, fuck you Christians, <laughs> fuck you parents, fuck all y'all hypocritic motherfuckers, this is what I'm doing for the kids, and you have the nerve to come on here and try to read me, fuck you, suck a dick, I don't give a fuck, right, so that's what I did. So then, you know, other people picked it up, Linnell goes ham, Linnell goes off, Linnell da da, and then they did it on Comedy Hype, which I had love for Comedy Hype, uh -huh. because, you know, we're, we're talking about Pierre. Mm -hmm. Pierre's there, and the um, other young lady, I think her name was Rita or something like that, mm -hmm. and then Capone, mm -hmm. <clears throat> who I, you know, don't know the young lady that well, but she's always been solid to me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Pierre's always had a little bit of a little nails on the chalkboard quality, mm -hmm. you know, but he's funny as shit, but he's very, you know, and then Capone, who is a, a great guy as well, but they raked me like, you know, I didn't even watch the shit because... Even like when I do interviews with Vlad or whoever the fuck I do, what the fuck I want to do, they got a platform just like yours for me to say whatever I need to say. You know, it's not like MSNBC or CNN is asking me to say a motherfucking thing. Right. So when somebody asks me to say something and I feel like I got something to say, I just do it. So then I don't go back and read all the comments. I might read like first 10 and then I'm off to live my life. I don't sit and obsess like, oh, they don't like me. Oh, they said this is a... But <clears throat> the comedy hype rebuttal was so on me and negative about, yeah, well, Linnell, you know, da, 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 I'm trying to put these things together and they don't go together. Everything goes with everything. Like, what about the black gay youth? Yeah. That's black, that lives that matter, and they're gay. What about that? And, and you know, this is why I don't get involved in a lot of shit because I don't want the, the, the pushback. But I didn't take it down. I'm not taking it down. I stand by what I did. I stand by what I said. I don't give a fuck who don't like it because if you saw my DM, I got 93 mm -hmm. DMs right now pending to be read from gay people. It's like, Linnell, thank you so much, you know, for our kids and, you know, my son committed suicide or this or that and stuff like that. Didn't we do a show in Miami? Were you on that show where it was the... The gay, all the gay people hired us, and you were I. I opened for you. Remember that? It was like, what's the gay weekend in Miami? Oh, sizzle, sizzle. I, I didn't did sizzle for about four years. You yeah. were the headline. Hold on, this this is my world. They <laughs> they t my agent at the time was gay, so he goes, you know, call me goes Gary. There's this huge, <laughs> huge <laughs> event in Miami, and you know my brain's like this. Miami. Oh, oh, so he goes like this. Sure. He goes, uh, heads up, it's a gay weekend, but the people that put it on, the promoters, they don't do other shit. They make all their money off sizzle and, that and, weekend. And, and and let me interrupt. As a black female, I said, okay, gay event, no big deal. I know I got good reputation with the gays, but I didn't know the 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 massiveness of this fucking thing. No. And the elite gay <laughs> black men that were there that didn't want nothing to do with, with women. Dude. <laughs> and the elevator would open to be all these gorgeous <laughs> black guys. I'm like, none of you motherfuckers want to. <laughs> I mean, is anybody on the fence? You know, no. Uh, it was, it oh, was, you was the Halle Berry of that weekend. Because I didn't. So when they told me, when he called me, he goes, um, it's. It's gay. This guy does nothing. He makes all his money that one weekend. I mean, and in the millions. See. Yeah, of course. Of one weekend. Uh, but but there's a lot to go into that, too, because all the hotels are booked in that area. Well, oh, I'm getting to that. Okay, okay, okay. I have never, <laughs> ever stayed at a five-star hotel in Miami, went down to the pool, and you would have thought, uh, you would have thought I thought was you Michael were B. Halle Jordan. Man. Yeah, I, the, it was so gay. Those guys were so gay, and I was like this. I was in the pool, like covered up. <laughs> I was like this. Why is everybody staring at me? <laughs> and Brad, my roommate, this dumbass is blended in. Hey man, I just got drinks bought for us at the bar. Yeah, yeah, Wonder yeah. why, Brad? <laughs> Dig but, this. I fucking see my lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> my lawyer's in the pool. I'm like, I didn't say his name. Like, what the fuck it? 
you doing here? I already knew he was gay. But I was glad I you were last. Sizzle. Sizzle was so, but but it's not just twinks, you know. It's like really elite black guys, the ones with the money, because Sizzle is not not a cheap yeah uh, weekend either. But uh, it was so. But I just remember the show. I went up Lord. and. I remember I got heckled by some lesbians. Because it's not just gay guys. There's a lot of lesbians there, but too. But the lesbians came. They didn't come in mass. Like, not like the guys. N- yeah, not yeah, like yeah, the guys. guys. They, they, they're, they're, they're yeah. definitely out of presence. But the, the lesbians, say, not saved me, but they helped. Because when that lesbian, <laughs> that lesbian heckled me or she yelled something out, and I can't remember what I said. I it probably was like, fuck you, something like it that. It wasn't fuck you. It was more no, like. No, it was probably uh, like, fuck you, wasn't it? No, I, I don't, it was more like um, I, something, something online said, if I wanted to, I could get more dick than you this weekend, or something like that, if I wanted to. It was something along those lines. Oh. Or something. It was something weird. That, that, that equals, didn't come out right at all. That was you. definitely not what I said, <laughs> and that came out all wrong, but I couldn't remember what I said. Anyways, oh, I oh. should change the subject because I'm digging a fucking hole right now. I don't want to listen. <laughs> Long as- but I, when you came out, I said goodnight. They was, they was going nuts. It was, that sounded weird, too. They were going crazy, and uh, then they said, next we have Queen Lunel. <laughs> you came out like he wasn't coming to America too. <laughs> like, like he was the queen. They went nuts when you came out. I go, oh, this is definitely her audience. Let me tell you the funny, the funny thing about Sizzle too. I got tears. I'm laughing so fucking hard inside. I forgot about that show till just now. There's, a, you know, the, you know, they had activities. They had the white party and Fire Island, and they had. Didn't the know nothing about that. The boat. Didn't know nothing about that. I didn't okay. go to anything. Okay. I went to the comedy show, <laughs> and then I went to. Uh, Another part of Miami. <laughs> you, went I was, to, you went to West Palm. You went to uh, uh, South Beach. South, oh, yeah. okay. No, no. I, no, no. I went to Naples. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a boat cruise that I will go on annually with the, with the guys, right? Yeah. It's fun to me because I don't give a fuck. I, I had to get my mindset. None of these motherfuckers want you, Linnell. So just have fun. Even though they were just the most beautiful. It's Miami. Shirts off. All this shit. So much baby oil. So much baby oil. Jesus and Christ. And they had, a, mer- be they had a merman. A merman. <laughs> <laughs> in the pool. And shit like this. But the funnest part to me of the whole sizzle is leaving the dock and seeing the people who just missed the boat. I'll be fucking with them. Bye! Losers! <laughs> Them motherfuckers be like, God damn it, you sick out there. Nah, nah motherfuckers, <laughs> boats don't wait. No, Lunell, so Lunell. I'm, all, I'm all out the box. Oh, I, I told you I shouldn't have sucked your dick before the boat God cruise. God damn it, if you'd have just came five oh, minutes earlier. Oh, you took forever your stamina, you motherfucker. We missed the cruise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your amazing cock made us miss the cruise, Chris. <laughs> okay, listen. Oh, my God, I don't know where this is. Oh, goes. God, Chris. Oh, well, this has got to go. I anyway. told you I would suck your cock okay, after the Gary. cruise. Okay, Gary, Gary. Why? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun uh, down there at Sizzle, and... Um, I haven't been back in, in many, many years, and there was another. It was so, uh, they were so, they were, I just think. I have everybody was polite and nice, but so, not aggressive where it was uncomfortable. It was just, I got eye fucked. No, there's a lot of oh, guys weak. who, like, loyal, really high profile Look, motherfuckers no, this who is what don't I come with. out, out and tell a sizzle. Yeah, there's a lot of This that. is me, you're me, right? Okay. The elevator doors open. Ding! <laughs> Look, I'm it's like this. The, it's I'm gonna, the elevator I'm, doors for look, me. Look, I'm trying to get off the elevator. <laughs> it's like, they're not moving. Right. I got, guys, I got... <laughs> and you start turning crimson. You know, Barry... Barry what's your name? Gary. Barry. Barry turns red. <laughs> Real easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was really an experience. And then after the show, because you know when the show's over, naturally people are excited to meet the comedian. It's just a, Especially if you're funny. I stayed to watch you on the side of the stage, and then so now I'm trying to leave, and we got to go through that lobby because it's in a hotel. I was like, I should have left an hour ago because I couldn't get through. Can we get a, you know, normally pictures, you're fine. The pictures, can we get a picture? Yeah, 10,000 people. I was like, this. That. And there literally was 
probably 10,000 people there for that week. That place was, that comedy was, show was packed. It out all the hotels in that area. Downtown. All the hotels. They take over downtown, not South Beach. They take over downtown. Yeah, not South Beach. Yeah, they take over downtown. Well, yeah. that was fun. We just pumped Sizzle like no other. Yeah, and I don't even know if they do it anymore. It'll be back. As well, long as there's this, gay people, be. they'll be back. I bet you we get booked now. We want you back, Lunell and I Gary. Think his name is Dwight. Dwight, I'm ready to come back to Sizzle. I want to come back. So is that the promoter's name? I think his name is Dwight. Oh, so Dwight. you did it four years in a row. Yeah. Was who was other comics? Because I just did it one year. Oh, Leslie, Leslie was one year. <laughs> is that where the beef started? No, and we and and and, and, and but it re, it 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 carried it over to that because I was like, oh, I'm not doing no fucking show with her. All this that was me. Did you, did you headline when it was you and Leslie? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Just and so, uh, but so she came in one door and did the stage and left, and I came in another door and did the stage. No. And what? Uh, but we have put, just to let you know, we have put our our beef aside and we are able to be, or at least I, I was able to be cordial anyway. Mm -hmm. We had to work through some things though with Miss Jones. And so we, 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 we have made a wonderful product. Coming to America 2. Coming to America 2. I play her sister. With the movie is fucking. Well, that's kind of natural then. Sisters beef. Yeah. That's, I, that's actually I got brilliant sisters. casting. Yeah. We, that's brilliant that you we, two. That'd be funny. Yeah, it, and 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 so you know people work shit out. You get older and you know, you gotta let shit go. It, uh, it was good for her because she was able to get how she'd been feeling for years off her chest to me, and mm -hmm. we, um, you know. It came to uh, was it uh, was it of I don't want to get too deep. Was it a lot of times we'll have problems with people and it'll be in our own head. We'll think this person has an issue with us and they don't. Was that the fact? Was she thought you didn't like her for whatever reason? <laughs> I, I mean, I've felt that way about some comedians in the past too, and I realized, hey, I think it's me. When you get older, you realize shit. Well, I absolutely <clears throat> am not going to go any further into the details of our conversation because I sort of did that before and. I probably should have kept that quiet, but um, I'll tell you off the air. But mm -hmm. um, uh, it was really more of her misunderstanding. Hey, guys, make sure we got the cameras rolling when she talks to me off the air. <laughs> you going to be in my sure car. <laughs> you in my fucking car. But I'm like just this. glad. Look, I don't want beef no, no. with people. What is, <laughs> what is, what is what, Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my God! No, I don't want. I don't want beef with people. I'm too old for shit like that. I only yeah. got one beef that um, is still active, and I stand by that. You want to share? Beef. No. Black comic. How Black did I know? Attempted comic. Jesus. Headliner. No. Host. Host. I have no idea. It's okay. You're not gonna. Come on. Nope, just, nope. I'm not going to. Oh, I just want clickbait. I just want clickbait shit. The people know. No, fuck that. <laughs> I've been clickbait. Oh, God. I had to learn what clickbait uh, is. I just want clickbait I've moments. Been click, I've been clickbait. That's what I wanted this podcast to be. No more. Fucking throwing me. everybody under the bus. Don't go on Gary's shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have. What, did, what, what was my title when I was here before? Which, once again, I'm the first and only repeat guest that Gary's ever yeah. had. And he's sort of some amazing people. I, I did. I, when I started the podcast and we moved it out here to LA and we got the, the, the amazing studio, yeah. obviously. This is a great space. Uh, you didn't say it last time. You said garage. And it, it is down. a garage, like Chico and the Man, but it's a great space. God, I'm cold that show? and shit. I got on a great outfit. I want to pull it up. I'm fucking cold. We are in a garage. So they ain't sick. even got a little heater. I knew a black girl was coming up in here. I you keep know, it black cold. People, I don't don't you and your wife fight over the thermostat? Every night. Of course, because black people like night. it warm. A white folk, you guys got We're from Europe. You got penguin blood. We're in from your Europe. Body. Our ancestors are from Europe. Yeah, well, it's cold in Europe. Ours ain't. It's right in Africa. Right. <laughs> <laughs> never been, I've heard. Oh, how come you ain't never been? <laughs> it's a long flight. Oh, but I've never, been, I've never been to Ireland either. I've been to Japan with you. Yeah, you're right. I've never been to Ireland though. So don't just say it's just black shit. I ain't been to Ireland. I ain't been to Russia. Who the fuck wants to go to Ireland? I'm just saying, I've never been. So. Are you going? Hopefully, I want to see the whole world before I die. I don't need to see Ireland. We, went to, we did go to Japan together. The yeah. funniest shit about Japan. I don't know if you remember this. Sorry, people, Irish people. I don't have no desire to go to Ireland. Conor McGregor. I don't McGregor. know how welcoming you are. 
or anything like that. I don't want. I'm tired of being the motherfucker. I grew up all white communities. I don't want to go back to that bullshit. This is this is how Lunell doesn't give a fuck what culture she's in. We're in Japan. I don't know if you remember this. We're in Japan. What ten years ago? About ten oh, years. Yeah, more than that. So we're in Japan, <clears throat> and we everywhere we went, we're in this little van, right? We're at a red light in Japan, and the guy and girl start making out in the car next to us. This Japanese guy and Japanese girl yeah, tugging yeah. each other down. Yes, out. yes. Lunell flies open the van door, and the guy honks. Lunell goes, ah. ah. <laughs> And the guy and girl went, and you were like, ah. they were like, oh. <laughs> I do remember he was, that. He went 10 and 2, and straight ahead, they both went and looked. They were no. like this. Ah. And then now goes, you ain't got to be ashamed. You yeah. ain't got to be ashamed. <laughs> I do remember that, actually. Like, you bring up my repressed <laughs> memories. I was more like this. I was more taken back because it seems like in Japan, in any Asian culture, they don't do a lot of PDA. PDA, yeah. They're it's just very, strictly by the book. Right. And clearly they're fucking a lot because there's a lot of Japanese very and Chinese fertile. people. Very fertile. But to see it, we were all in shock. Like, are we fucking seeing this? Yeah, like, I was In like, a car? Like, clearly their parents, they were they look like teenagers. Middle of the day. Middle of the day. Their parents did not know. And then here comes Lunel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> The funny when you slid open the van door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They probably thought I was a police. Or That's something. what I was thinking. They probably went home like, oh, mother. I never. No, I'm, I'm so not sorry. doing no Asian accent. So See, sorry. That's Gary did it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Gary did the gay accent. Alleged. What? Gary do the Asian accent. You gonna be your own fucking clickbait. Okay, I'll do a white accent. <laughs> Hi, Lunell. I already How done are it. You? I already done it. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you I did. I already We're done gonna it. do it all today. Elvis. Everybody's gonna have to be pissed. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I'm gonna be like Prince. <laughs> we've I'm done. Not doing no we've more done interviews. Bay Area. Yeah, I got that cool meal batter. <laughs> Fry that fascist catfish so I don't get fatter. Is that the only lyric you know? I made it up. I made that up. Right. You know. But that was pretty good. Freestyle. Yeah. Freestyle. Yeah. And that dude, did that sound like E40? A little bit. Yeah. You know. Fry enough my fried fish in that cornmeal batter. Cook it up that so I don't get fatter. <laughs> <laughs> cornmeal batter. I have got to send him this. That's a cornmeal batter. <laughs> E40 will have a no, fried pan. No, is look, more like, like this. this. Look, got the cornmeal batter. <laughs> you look like you're picking ticks off of your body. You got to well, pop. You don't okay. have a collar. Got that cornmeal batter. <laughs> right, I'm popping my tits. Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, e forty point. Tits. No. <laughs> and E40.0. Got the cornmeal batter. Now it's warming up in here. I can't, Gary. Yeah, pull my sleeve. Pull my finger. <laughs> got that cornmeal batter. <laughs> oh. oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know I have to, you know, I really thought I was good at interviews for a long time, you know, mm -hmm. but lately, lately, I don't know. Well, you know, get back to comedy hype. Uh, Chan, uh, uh, we'll talk about me on comedy hype. They did a whole piece on me, unsolicited. Was, was Pierre, uh, no, 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 it was some other guy. I don't even know who he was. Before Pierre. Before Pierre. This wasn't the new shit. This was just when they doing the expose type shit. Okay. It was, uh, I don't know, about less than a year ago, but. This guy, comes on, and all they said was, did Gary Owen go too far? Does he go too far in his act? And it was clearly, like, personal. And I have never done anything, never done an interview with him. I try to stay out of controversy. I go, where did this come from? And, you know, when somebody says something about you, everybody sends it to you. <laughs> yeah. You know, if somebody says something good about you, okay. you never hear about it. Yeah, because I wasn't watching comedy hype on a weekly basis. Yeah. I watched the interviews that... Come up in my feed that, you know, but people were sending me, yeah, they tell your ass up. They yeah. drug your ass <laughs> on comedy hype. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I can sit around and obsess about people writing shit about me that I don't know, may never even meet. Or yeah. I can go head on and be like, oh, okay, well, you know, because the thing about now is that whatever scandal you're in, it's over in about four days. That's because a there's, fact. There's some new shit going on. That is a fact. You know, if you if you can make it through the three or four days, if you if you ignore it, it goes away. Yeah, I learned that from Madonna. Or if you just address it. You know? Well, even like this wasn't like a scan or anything. This is just them doing some weird 
I don't know where it came from. And then, it, well, then it was funny. Well, they're a lot of publicity, too, right here. Right now. Right. It's a good, I think it's a oh, great show. Oh, don't talk about it again. I think it's a good show. I think it's a, a the, really good show. It can, but here's the thing. But, you know, you wanna, coming for me for that, though. Coming for me for that, when it's not like an either or. Either you're with the gay agenda or you're with the black agenda. What? You know, I'm not trying to compare one struggle to another because you can't be identified as gay walking down the street immediately, mm -hmm. you know, and you can as black. And they're not, you know, yes, there's both groups have been accosted, assaulted, beat down in the streets and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But I wasn't, that's not what I was trying to do. All yeah. I was trying to do was post this shit for mental health for gay youth. Boom, that was it. And then they made a yeah. whole big thing about a big fucking deal. Yeah. Well, what I wanted from the podcast, my podcast, and I've been, I think I built enough rapport with comedians because just about everybody said yes. Everybody has come on, even Tiff, Kev, the biggest, the biggest names came on too. It's like, okay, so people like me in the business. I'm getting cold again. But I wanted the podcast to be where we could just cut up and have fun. I ain't trying to stir up no shit unless it's you and Leslie <laughs> Jones. That's the only beef I wanted to know about. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I want to know is, is anybody asking her anything about, about I don't. Ha here's shit? the thing. I don't have her number or anything. So, you know, but when she comes on, I'm going to be like, I fucking Carrie. hate Lunell. Oh, Leslie, God. you 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 are right you into thinking that about that her. You couldn't even say that convincingly. No, Lunell. You couldn't I, even say that convincingly. Leslie, I'm with you. <laughs> Lunell, so full of shit. God damn it. Yeah. There's nothing. Leslie could walk in okay. right now. I'd be like, what's up, girl? Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the thing is that when we was on the set, <laughs> she walked in, I said, what's up, girl? And it was like, she didn't say nothing back? <laughs> That'd be tense. <laughs> you think I do scenes together? I said, your hair looks good like that. You should keep it like that after the movie. That's what I got. You know who, you know, only, the only tense shit I ever had on set was uh, Godfrey. Godfrey? You're yeah. <laughs> Godfrey don't give a fuck about you? No, it's not that. We, we it had might be that. We had a TV show together. Um, me, him, and Shaq. It was called Upload on True TV, right? <sighs> and uh, I I don't know what happened between us. And here's the thing about me and Godfrey. <laughs> you no, don't want Godfrey no, in your ass. No, it's fine. He can be on my ass. Uh, you don't I have that. nothing bad to say about him. Right. He, Great comedy, everything, but some people, I think your personalities just don't click at that point in your lives. <laughs> and at that point in our lives, we just weren't clicking. And I don't, I don't know what, and he probably said, I'd hope he would say the same thing. I've never said a bad word about that dude. Of course. He's not a bad guy. Right. He's created his own lane and stand up. But for, for whatever reason. Tiffany put him on, you know that, right? She, well, she came on Upload. It was funny. She, our, our guest comics, Ali Wong. Tiffany Haddish, Michelle Buteau. We had some fucking bomb ass comics that were, nobody knew because this was 2012. But for whatever reason, me and Godfrey just were not clicking. And I don't know why. I, I, you know what? I, it'd be, he, he'd be good to get on the podcast because we could talk about it. I you, think, want, you want to talk to him? Not right now, but if you want to bring him on, I'd love to have him on to talk about it. Cause I, I really you don't just, want to talk to him right now? No, not right now. <laughs> no, don't do that to me. We can do it off air. <laughs> don't do that to me. Don't do that. Hey, I don't really know me, look who I'm here with. Because <laughs> I don't really know how he feels about me. <laughs> we can find no, out. No, we'll do it off air. <laughs> off, don't do that to oh, me, Lunell. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> so what did you, you say? You got Godfrey, I got Leslie. <laughs> 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 No, but that's the thing. Oh shit! I really don't know. <laughs> it was it was one of those things like you know what it felt like. You know what it felt like, Lunell? It felt like we were an old married couple where you're just sick of the other person. You're like this. Why are you chewing? Oh, what? what where can Lunell, I find that? Why the fuck are you getting enchiladas? Where can I see that at? <laughs> it's on TV. It never went to camera, but off. I don't. And to this day, I look back and I go. I will why get, are we I getting on get each other's Godfrey nerves? For you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I look back and I go, why the fuck were we not getting along? It made no hey, Godfrey, sense. Godfrey, Gary wants you to do his podcast. Fuck that white boy. I don't <laughs> want to be bothered with him. <laughs> wow, he just went racial off the bat? He's very pro-black. He's blackity-black-black. 
Izzy. Mm-hmm. I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like this, Izzy. I know. No, but, and he really rides hard for black women, too, which is refreshing. But I do, too. Yes, you do. Because if you do. notice in my act, and I don't know if people caught on, I don't call women bitches and hoes. No, you don't. I'm very <laughs> you, respectful. You know better. I do, but I don't like the fact, like, I, when I hear guys quickly just say the word bitch about women, yeah, I got this bitch coming over. Yeah, I, fuck I this bitch. I don't allow the N-word in my shows. Oh, Period. Well, we couldn't hang out. Not then. from my, not from my, <laughs> not from my host, and not from my feature. They Good. can't use it. If well, anybody I don't use uses it, it it's me because I am one, <laughs> yeah. and because I would use it in the proper context. Yeah. But just gratuitous, like you know, like you know, like, 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 Mm, how about that? What'd you say about Leslie? <laughs> <laughs> See, you doing this shit like you did with me and Kat. <laughs> How's Cat <Kat> doing? <laughs> I'm not coming back. This is it, you guys. This is it. I'm not fucking with you no more. <laughs> Cat doing good? Uh-huh. Can you get Cat on the podcast? <laughs> Enough about Godfrey. Let me Can you get Cat? Let, let me see. Okay, you can call Cat. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you want me to? I don't care. But look, I said no to Godfrey because I really don't know. <laughs> I do not want him to get on the phone. Like, fuck that motherfucker. He's so pro black right now. Fuck that white fetish black woman Ooh. motherfucker. Oh my God. I, no. No, he, <laughs> no, I saw him talk about the Trump supporting guy that said this is a fetish with white guys or something like that. Well, do you know that there are insurrectionists and white supremacists that have black wives? What the fuck about that? Did you see that? Do you know about that? Did you, they had one of the guys. Okay, from, but that's not me. One of Let's the guys stop. in the goddamn Capitol. I saw that. I Did saw you that. Did him with his Klan outfit, with his, carrying his black wife? Saw all that. Oh, yeah. my, oh, my but head that's almost not exploded. me. My head almost motherfucking exploded. But you, you're always gonna have, you're always gonna have those like. That is a fucking fetish. That I is a fetish. I got it, but you're fetish. always gonna have. The, uh, Ryan Davis said it best. You're always gonna have. Um, I can't even. I can't even know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Fuck it. You're always going to have those weirdos that weird shit happens, but that's no, not that's the norm. Not, no. That's not normal. Uh, no. Most white guys married to black women. But okay, just because she's black, she could be a Candace Owens type of black. So we, we got that, know. but it's not, oh, my, my that's not the majority. Most, if you a black dude married a white lady and you're a white dude that marries a, a black lady, 90% is because you really love that person. There's yeah. always the, okay, the side that there's a fetish that, and it's but weird, not but that's enough. not normal. But that's not enough. <clears throat> you will attest to this, I'm sure. It's not enough for Chip to love Shaniqua. Okay. Chip has to love the culture. Facts. And respect her the family, culture. The people. Right. Everything. He has to be down for if he's in the car with his black homeboy and they get pulled over. He has to be willing to ride for him, not pull his white card or say he was kidnapped or I'll go get help or no shit. What? Don't what? Well, Don't. when when that happens, let me tell you something now. She got this one you got to pull out the white privilege card. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Trump's everything. Somebody gave Give that me to me. It's funny. I'm doing a sketch with it. That's why I have it. Can I have it? No, I'm doing a sketch you with it. A We're going to do a commercial it. with it. You can take a picture of it. <laughs> Send it to Godfrey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, it's the oh, white privilege. Oh, my like, God. Somebody, my role major found it, gave it to me. It's hysterical. If you pulled that out, that would that would probably get you out of a ticket, though. Yeah. For real, though. No, it's white like this. Privilege. You know how fast you're going? You know I do, officer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me see your license. Boom. I think this speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs> um... Anyway, that's very funny. Thank you. Uh, and, um, no, I, honestly. But that's what I'm saying. A, you can't just love that one person. You gotta love the. You gotta love her. About it. You gotta love her drunk uncle. You gotta love the fam. You gotta, you know, just like your own drunk uncle and stuff like that. You can't just be white and be infatuated with this one person. You what know? I've learned, uh, being married as long as I have, and being immersed in black culture is, you we, especially as white people, we you gotta empathize. Even though you might not know what being profiled is and police brutality and it doesn't happen to you, you have to realize that shit happens because it doesn't happen. I have this, I have, I talk to people in my family to death about certain family <laughs> members that be like this. What? And they do Blue Lives Matter and Black 
Black Lives Matter is a is a Marxist organization. I'm like, okay, could you please oh my stop? God, my head. I need to take Excedrin when I we come. We need here, so. to just listen and empathize with people. Why? If somebody says they're hurting and struggling, act like it's one of your family members, and you just want to hold them and hug them and say, "I'm sorry that happened." What do you need me to but do? But see, to you help did you? not get with your wife and then get immersed in black culture. Oh, I, met her, already... I met her at the Century Club. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> I met her with DMX. That's that's <laughs> you was already about that life before you met her. See? Right. And um, that's yeah. I didn't know. meet her at. Hold on, I didn't meet her at Starbucks. At at in in uh, somebody <laughs> in I Boise, know Idaho. who whose name and position in my life will rena- remain nameless, <clears throat> but they married a white woman. Mm-hmm. She's very you know vocal about injustice and all that type of stuff, but I don't think she would have been like that if she had not married. This person, this black man that I know, and she's now got black children, you know, uh, biracial children, and all that stuff. And see, you know, it's not my job to teach you about life and black culture and all that shit. She just, you know, she was living her nice white life, <laughs> and along comes this brother, and uh, nice rock and fucking yeah, <laughs> nice white life. All the brother comes along and fucking rock the world, and then she tried to do the white thing. Was like, well, I'm not gonna give you any pussy or anything Whoa. like that, because that's what white girls do. No, but they still let you hit. Oh, fuck them in the ass. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was just the Catholic girls around my area. Well, they call that. They think that they're not fucking if yeah, they let not, you fuck Yeah, they're still them. a virgin. Yeah, got to hit in the ass. But you could throw a basketball. No, you can't up their booty. penetrate the puss. But you can get this asshole, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I'm going to suck start a Harley with this Mary, mouth. Uh, Gary, have you ever fucked a woman in the ass? Mm-mm, never. I never have. You're turning red, though. But I never have. Um, is that question Not even tried. Uh, it's like, I, the, it's I wanna, like a nice hotel. Go it's like, I'm going to go to the front door. I'm going to get checked in. I'm going to go to my beautiful room. That's the pussy. Yes. I'm not going into the employee's entrance. <laughs> Let me just go on the record and say that Lunell's ass is as it was when I was born. No, no, I don't. No fingers up my ass. Has anybody like just grazed it? Like, uh... I mean, a little bit. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> yeah. That's I, that's like the when they just you just gotta graze it. But then I'm but like, like, don't uh, put nothing uh, in there. Uh, 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 but it's almost like, oh, is this motherfucker about to try? It? No, no, no. I'll get out the whole fucking bed. No. But they just. Well, with your tongue, you can do that. Oh. <laughs> if, you, if you want to. If that's your tongue, we ain't gonna kiss. Could you be we, uh, the most beautiful ass in the world? My ass is pristine. Beautiful. Yeah, I saw him Playboy. Or you penthouse. did not? You saw my ass, but not my asshole. I did not see the asshole. Right. Nobody has. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, it's getting warm again. <laughs> Did you guys turn on the heat? Because I'm I'm starting to sweat. Can we turn on a fan in here? <laughs> the fan. Oh my god, my white privilege is kicking in. <laughs> Why am I here? Oh, no. <laughs> Why the fuck did I agree to this shit? I knew this was gonna be a shit. But I would here. really, honestly, I would like to have Godfrey on to talk about our experience on the Shack Show. I would love. I want to be in the building. Well, I but for real, like for and me, I be listen. Like, I want to sit right there. No, but I listen. Will come here. There is. I have never. Said a bad word about that dude. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, because there's nothing bad to say about him. But uh, I just we'll wonder what him. I wonder what his version of us on the show was. And I'm gonna call him. No, do not do that. Not on the podcast. <laughs> Why? Fuck him. Don't do that. <laughs> no. I, mean, I don't want him to say it about me. No, 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 no. He's not gonna say nothing bad. About Are you really calling him? <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that? I'm gonna call Leslie. <laughs> you don't have Leslie's phone number. You already said so. Oh, no, I got it. What's up, Leslie? Yeah, I got leave. You're lucky right he's not answering. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're lucky. Right. You like that. All right. I'm going to leave him a little message. And so I'm going to let him know. Oh, he's calling me back. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, Godfrey. Yo. How you doing? <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. How do I do this? Why, why are you doing that to me? Good, good morning. Good morning. What'd why you, do you put him on speaker like what that? What you doing? 
get my stuff going to Baltimore. You know, just chilling. Dumb. Guess what I'm doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're not right. I'm sitting here with Gary Owen on his podcast. What's up? And he was he and he would he he uh was bringing up the fact that <clears throat> he would love to have you on the show sometime whenever you guys could make it happen because I think that he felt like there has been tension between you two before. I did not say that. And that he he wants to no, but but I don't know. That would be just a a, a great thing to discuss, don't you think? <laughs> I did not say that. Someone mentioned that. I said, what, though? I was like, what are you talking about? You know, listen, listen, you know white boys are intimidated and scary and shit like that. You know that. <laughs> no, that is not what I so fucking anyway, said, so, Godfrey. Uh, wouldn't you love, listen, Godfrey. That's not what I said. Godfrey would be willing to do your podcast, Gary. Isn't that yeah. right, Godfrey? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But Godfrey. Yes. I also, she's not giving you the whole goddamn story. I'm not going to give him the whole goddamn story right Godfrey, now. But uh, I just told on, him, I said, I said, I'll call his okay. ass. I'll call him no, right now. God, what I said was, in comedy, we'll think we have a beef or somebody don't like us, and it'll be in our own head. And that's what I said. I never, like, I, did, I, don't, I was like, you have a beef with Gary? I said, When? Okay, good. We got to come on the podcast and talk about this. Oh, I'm, yeah, and I would, I'll would i come on yours. Oh, Wait, hell yeah, I'd do it. Is yours in New York or L.A.? I'm in New York. Well, you're in L.A., right? Yeah, mine's in L.A. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to get your I, number from... Godfrey and I talk on the phone 2 o'clock in the morning for like three hours. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to get your number from Lou Nell. We'll number, set dude. it up. You get my number? Yeah. Okay, I'll give it, I'll give it to him. Okay. Hey, and do you have Leslie Jones' Jones number? <laughs> He really yeah. just started because he was trying to, he was trying to bring up the fact that it had been addressed that Leslie Jones and I had had beef in the past, but we rectified. <laughs> He's laughing. Yeah, but, Leslie, Leslie had beef with me for no reason, and she apologized. I was like Leslie, I didn't do anything to you. <laughs> we 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 cleared our <laughs> shit up on the set. I'm like Leslie, you need to go on a tour and. And try to fix all this shit that you think is going on. Me and Gary Owen did the Shaq thing. I didn't really know Gary. I don't think I really met him ever. And so I didn't really know him like that. So I knew Shaq. And then, yeah, so, but never had any beef, no. (laughs) Okay, well, I just wanted to, Gary's like, don't call him. I said, no, motherfucker, I'm going to call him I said, call him after the podcast, not during. Gary, I'll I'll do it. They give him my number, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay. No, what I, Godfrey, what I said was. Anyway, fuck that. Uh, Okay, Okay. I'll talk to you later, baby. It's all good, Gary. Just go get your numbers. Okay. Thanks, Godfrey. Okay, bye. All right, later. Take it back. I think Shaq was the one I didn't like. So. But what I say at the beginning of the podcast, sometimes you have shit with people and it's in your own brain. Clearly it was in my own brain. Well, I just feel there's <clears throat> no time like the present to clear up little things like that. I'll see well, call Leslie. Leslie. Call Leslie. Uh, Leslie doesn't answer the phone for me. Yeah. I've texted her since the movie to just say, hey, girl. Hey, girl. You want to yeah. come on Gary Owens' podcast? Your name came up. He loves you. I'm sending this to you hey right girl, now. Hey, girlfriend. You want me to get around the podcast? I, I won't. Yeah. I, don't, I can't, I, I can't I want, listen. This is my thing. <clears throat> I want every comic on the podcast because I want it to be a place. Okay, a, but my, listen. Now, let me just say this to you. You okay. know, I got a YouTube show, too. I go on. I and did Michael Blackson's yesterday because no. he did mine. I did his. I didn't want to. Why the fuck are I going on Michael Blackson's podcast? I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, a bunch of asses. And there was. I beg, I beg, I beg Michael Blackson every time I see him. I said, Michael, please, please, shut down your Instagram. Start over. Why? Start fresh. Because it is so incredibly ratchet. And then you see him with all these bitches, and he's got one bad woman that's his girl. The Asian but girl. But she's, you know, down for whatever. And you yeah. see him with all these bitches, and then the motherfucker came up COVID positive. How about that? Hmm. Have you? Did you ever catch it? I ain't never had a venereal disease. Ooh. I ain't never caught nothing but the flu. Wow. I've never had none of that shit. I got a COVID test in my motherfucking purse from three days ago. Had it at Russell's house. Wow. Russell had a nurse at his house. Right. Russell gave the thorough COVID test. It told you even the antibodies. Right. If you if you catch it, will you get sick? I got the I ain't never test. seen a response like that You know, that this shit. is the thing. I'm a receipt bitch. I got receipts for every motherfucking thing I say. Here it is. He has a concierge. 
COVID-19 testing. This is like three fucking days ago, four days ago. Like antibodies and whatever. You, that so shit. negative. You're negative for the antibodies. That means you have not had it right. at all. Never. I've never had nothing. I was positive for the antibodies. That you means were? I had it. I know when I got it though. I knew when I had it. I was a super spreader. I gave it to like eight people. Yeah. Don't say that. I was like a dragon. Don't do that. I don't have it now. I just got tested. I get tested. Now I got I get I get tested again Sunday at Universal. Oh. Uh yeah. No, I get rapid tested every week. You go to Walgreens or CVS and get the rapid test. Just because I'm on the road so you much. You gotta go get the vaccine at Walgreens and CVS too. Get, as soon as that vaccine comes out, I'm gonna get it. You can't get it yet because you're not black. Ooh. And you're not old. I mean, you're old, but you're not old. Damn, uh, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm old for like a college yeah, because student. The the reason. What what do you think is the reason why black folks don't want to take the fucking vaccine? Uh, maybe the history of America. Ha, huh, how about that? How spreading about that? different diseases to black communities. And guinea pig in us and all that shit. America yeah. has never given a fuck about but us. But how about, what if this happened? Would you guys, would black people feel some kind of way, since you're basically speaking for all black people right now, what if the government said, it's such a weird dynamic, what if the government said, we got the vaccine, we're going to give it to white people first <laughs> to see if it works, and then we'll give it to black people after we know it's safe. You think some black people be like, here we go again. We're the last ones to get it. Some people would, because my mm -hmm. sister's already had it, but she's mm -hmm. a you know healthcare professional. Nurse. Yeah, I know a couple of nurses and doctors. <clears throat> my 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 niece is an anesthesiologist. She's already had it. Both shots? Because there's uh, two I rounds. Think, I, yeah, I think my sister still has to get the second one. My my cousin probably already has had the second one, and I know, you know, entertainer people who have gotten it. Well, the first one ain't shit. It's the second one where you feel a little sick. First of all, I don't want two shots for nothing. No mm. reason. Shots of cognac? Shots of E-40s nah, well, liquor? No, well, maybe a little shot like that. If they mm. put the vaccine in some yak, I'd have it already. Call cat. <laughs> <laughs> you know be funny? You know he watches. He watched us. Oh, did he, he like, like it? Was he laughing? Uh, he was amused, I would say. <laughs> What do you mean he was amused? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I cannot speak for Cat Williams. You have to ask him yourself when you have him on. <laughs> When's he coming on? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know, Gary. Cat would be a riveted because he's so smart. Yeah, that's. He, but what... he'd be. We'd be talking about. Like, I don't. I don't know what we're talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> he talk about the history of polio and shit. Like, how do you know all that? He's literally one of the smartest guys I've ever met. His IQ is fucking outrageous. Did you know that from when yeah. he was no, young? Yeah, no, no, literally. From when he was a young kid. No, no, literally, there's numbers, <clears throat> and then literally, Cat's IQ says outrageous. Me and It Hope doesn't Flood. say, like, 186, says outrageous. Yeah, we, we call him the wizard, because yeah. he knows everything going on. Yeah. And it's um, it's kind of shocking when you speak with him. You're like, how did, how did you know that? The one thing he, the, I remember one time we went out to eat after a show at the comedy store probably 11, 12 years ago. And we were sitting down to eat. And he said something so subtle. He goes, I had a heckler and I handled it. And then we, he, I said something like, I guess that guy didn't think I was funny. That's why he heckled. And Kat goes, well, nobody's ever said that. <laughs> so I was like this. Oh, at least Cat knows I'm funny. <laughs> well, nobody's ever said that. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to send him our picture real quick. This phone is a weapon. My phone? <laughs> oh, the motherfuckers I got in this bitch? Like, yeah. you'd be really surprised. I got your number. That's all I need. That is all you need. I'll just call you and Russell. That's the only two people I need. Doing it again. <laughs> 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 Doing it again. <laughs> Hold on, let me finish this interview. Who is that? I have a photo shoot after this, Gary. For what? I have an active life. For what? You don't know? Knee replacements? No, <laughs> but I showed my scar in my photos. I saw it. Well, then you know what the fuck I have a photo shoot for? What is it? For the Savage X Fenty lingerie. Oh, that's right. And, uh, Contract oh, I thought, I thought that was an April Fool's post. That's no, serious. that was pinned out. <laughs> <clears throat> that was in the April I'm edition. Get, listen, I will say, I'm getting better. I'm glad you gave me God for something. I'm getting better at reaching out to people, not just when you want something. Because I reached out to you when you had your knee surgery just to check on you. Yeah. Just to check up. 
You did. Seeing how you're doing. And when I was going to be able to come back. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so you're out for seven when weeks? When are you going to be up in the You're going to be up in the round? You're going to be up in the round right before uh, Coming to America comes out? Mm. Yeah, mm. I uh, I did my first Coming to America post the other day because I've been sitting on, holding on to behind the scenes think, footage and stuff you like know what that. What sucks? What? That movie should be in theaters. Absolutely not. That now I'm gonna tell you why. Sucks. I'm gonna tell you theater. two reasons why it doesn't suck. Number one, people are still iffy about whether they want to go to the movie theater or not. This way, everybody that wants to see it, that can get a relative's password to their Amazon Prime account, mm -hmm. can can see it. Mm -hmm. You know, in the comfort of their own home. That's amazing. Number one. Okay. Number two. <clears throat> When you do a film, Gary, as you well know, which we've done Think Like a Man 1 and 2 together, you don't get no residuals as long as the movie's in the theater. You only get residuals when the movie starts streaming. This movie's going to start streaming out the gate. Which we don't get residuals for the theaters? No. Oh, I did. No, you did not. Uh, well, my, well, what kind of deal did for, for Think Like a Man... I did. I got bonuses. That was only because so. Will. He did. That it was. Out for you. He did. Well. Because that's we, not the norm. Because I talked to SAG about this shit. And they said, you don't get residuals from that. You know, unless you're like Denzel or something well, like we that. Well, no, we got it. But right. only when it, when it goes to, you know, cable and the airlines and television. That's when we start making the money. Well, think like a man, the way the, our contract goes, well, at least mine. You get your fee, got my fee for the movie. And then once it, I remember, I remember when I saw it too, I go, I'm not going to see any of this. You, I got a certain amount of money at 50,000, at 50 million. And then it was like 60 million. It was 10. And then when it got to 90 million, it went to like five, every five million, I got another bonus. And I remember looking at it going, I ain't got to see none of this fucking money. I, and then I, that movie made I, $90 million like this. Holy I mean, fuck. Even I got nice residuals off that, and I didn't say nothing but okay or something like that. I but that was the residual. Know. I'm talking about at the theater. Yeah. So I was like this. When I first got the contract, I was like this. I ain't got shit. Man, that motherfucker 50, man, probably stopped 60, all that 60, 70, like this. But there wasn't streaming wow. when we did Think Like a Man. The, the, yeah, we, I mean, you still got I mean, residuals. It goes to, yeah, it goes to television, the airplane, airline, stuff like that. So what are you saying? You're gonna have a new wardrobe. When this I ain't gonna have out. a new house in wherever the fuck it is you live. I'm still gonna be right down there. Still in the, the hood. Shaw. The cat get back to you? Or? I have more. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we're not even talking yeah, anymore. The, we're just doing. You know we're that, just on our phones. We're just podcast. You know that skeleton face. Back? That, that back skeleton yet? face. He takes that back. What does that mean? Dead. <laughs> He didn't he's, do that. He's dead to me? He didn't do that. Is that what he said? <laughs> the cats say I'm he dead to him? He did not say that you were dead we're to him. We're both from Cincinnati. I said, I said, we, Ohio, Southern Ohio. From Dayton. We got the funniest motherfuckers. You got Chappelle, Cat, myself. Them three monsters. Oakland's got Curry, Hayes, myself. So really, you literally just compared that to Cat Williams, Dave Chappelle, and Gary Owen. They was... I'm not saying they're not funny. You're talking about motherfucking icons. You're talking about outrageous IQ. Are you an icon? Oh, are you that? I'm on my way, Because I am. I'm on my way, baby I'm girl. I'm an icon. You are. Naked. Who's the most famous person on your phone? Probably Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Hart is probably That's the most famous it? person on my phone. That's all? You said the most famous. I just said Kevin Hart's probably most what famous. What an ass kiss. <laughs> you didn't say who a bunch. Kevin Hart probably. If you go sports world, um, probably Let's iconic see. would be Ken Griffey Jr. in my phone. Who do I got? Athlete. Who's a, so? Cat's probably the most famous comedian, like in your phone. I got Chappelle's number too. You think Chappelle's bigger than Kevin? I need to Kevin? talk. I, I'll trade you a number for Chappelle's number because I got to talk to him. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you call Godfrey back. You don't right get Godfrey here. for Chappelle. <laughs> That's like saying, hey, uh, Gary, uh, let me get uh, Mark Wahlberg's number for Gary Owen. Probably Sandler, Adam. Mm. Um, yeah, shit like that. 
the the most, oh, let's say my most famous white person in my phone. I'm like this. <laughs> Struggle. Because I don't, yeah, right. I don't Maybe uh, Joseph Sakura, probably. He's most famous. For did real. You see, did you see me on Ghost? No. You didn't know I did it? Uh-uh, I haven't watched it. I haven't caught up. Yes. I still think they should write me in as a long lost brother. Well, I, I was, uh, I'm Spanky's mama. Spanky got, he got smoked. Oh. She was a snitch. My son was a snitch. And was you crying? No, but I had a very uh, sort of Enough tense, about that. Has um, Cat got back to you yet? Boy, <laughs> you. <laughs> Gary? <laughs> Gary? What did he say the first time? You said he just See, laughed. he's on He's on Ghost. Remember that's. Oh uh, yeah, he's one, the, bit, he's one of the he's one of the he's one of the um and Mary J. Yeah, heard of her once. Let me tell you a funny Mary J. Blige story. Okay. Um have you ever done have you ever heard of Macy's Music Fest in Cincinnati? No. It's this huge music festival. It's over two days. Can I get back to you yet? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Put this motherfucker away because you are obsessed. You. I, I gotta get him on the show. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta work my you. angles. I gotta get. You know why? He'd be such a riveting fucking conversation. I, I don't have to do shit and with tell, Cat. And tell it was it. No, I would just tell Cat. Cat, what do you think of childbirth? That motherfucker will. Well, the children started actually in 1845 BC. <laughs> That's your cat voice? A lot of people think it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I do not want to talk awful. about cat I, with sorry, you. You're sorry. crazy. You, <laughs> that was a terrible cat voice. It was. But, yeah, no, that was. Oh like that. my God, I can just see him pacing, smoking cigarettes right now. <laughs> Tell Gary I'll do his pussy ass fucking <laughs> podcast. Yeah, come on. <laughs> You let me know when this motherfucker's about to drop. That's what you do. Can y'all do that for me? This one's going to come out February 18th. So, actually, this one's going to come out. What's what? this podcast? Okay. Uh, fourth. Ele- okay. Fourth is Joe Coy. Eleventh is uh, the girl. So, I you're going to be Joe the 18th. Coy. You're two Joe weeks Coy. from today. This is going to air. Two okay. weeks from today, Lunell. This is Thursday. Every Thursday. This is going to air two weeks from the day. Okay. All right. I want to make sure I got you on Black History Month, and I want to make sure I got you on before Coming to America 2 came out, because I want to make sure I got to talk about Leslie Jones with you. So. <laughs> oh. We're just squashing beefs and creating new ones. No, there's not going to be no create no new one, because no. if it goes around again, you know, it wouldn't. It just wouldn't be feasible for us to do that. We'd squashed. Oh. We have come to a meeting of the minds. I have said before, I'm going to say this again, this is the best work that Leslie Jones has ever done in her career, Saturday Night Live absolutely included. I don't believe that. What? Ghostbusters. What is she? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this. I don't believe that. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Even though that was a classic. Uh, um, the BET Awards. It's better yeah. than that. Shut up. Gary, this is the best thing she's ever done. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's right up. Every it now t- and then you'll a get. a lot. <laughs> but listen, every now and then you'll get these roles that you, when you see it, like, it, who else could play it? So you're telling me, I know what the movie's about. Oh, she got picked for a specific reason. Yeah, but know? I'm saying. When you when I found out the script and I've talked to numerous people on the movie, I was like this. There's no doubt she's gonna kill that shit. Almost like when Ken Jung, not the hangover, uh. when he did knocked up and he got to play oh, a yeah, doctor. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Which he you, really was. And you saw the outtakes to that. Where you see Seth Rogen just can't <laughs> hold in and he knows so much about fucking uh, uh, the medical practice, he'd use them big words and intertwine with hip hop words. He was a real doctor. He right. Was a real doctor. When I saw that, I'll tell you, oh, it's over. This motherfucker's about to, pew, and then hangover. Please, Everybody needs the hangover. Please flash the, it's almost over sign. Do you got that? No, oh, we got time. <laughs> Ken, uh, you got Ken, I, I don't even think I have Ken Jung's number anymore. I don't know. I, got I his, do. I got, I'm out the loop. I'm out the fucking loop. Let me see loop, if I got man. Ken's number still. I got a number, but I don't think it's his number. I don't either because he's so big now. Piece of shit. I hate it when nice guys make it. 
Ah, uh, <laughs> I got an email only because uh, the last number I had for him was wrong. Uh, let's see if we got the same number on. You got a, you got an email? Hold on, can't. No, I, I actually had a phone number on there. Yeah, but the phone never changed. The emails don't. Cat call back yet? Just kidding. <laughs> And I don't. I don't What's have his number. Say? One hour thirty. Oh, Ken. We I go. don't have a I number on Ken. Ha ha! I got an email. I could get the number probably. Hmm. I don't have his number. That's crazy. I'll send him a picture of us and say Gary needs your number. What you gonna do for me? You gonna come on my YouTube show? I'll do that. Films every Wednesday. And you realize I'm I'm like a decent name. Like I'm gonna boost your numbers. Oh. So. I'm gonna when this airs. Hey, Lunell is going to go over 50,000 subscribers. Okay, I would like that very much, people. That's what I'm doing for you. Because you see, Gary loves to berate me as come on has, these shows. Has Kat been on your podcast? Um, no. In a, in a way. No. So well, I thought you guys were really close. What's going on? Yeah. He, uh, he's in my real life, not my, mm. my YouTube life. Mm, got it. Like, I know where he's at, and you don't. I don't. Mm. He's always been a nice guy to me. Don't try to fucking sweeten it up now. I mean, he has. Yo, that might stop. <laughs> yeah. That might end. <laughs> I don't think anybody's just been a dick. Comedian's been a dick. Paul Mooney did a dick move one time. You can't to me. count Paul. Well, this was 20 years ago, so yes, I can. Oh, yeah, maybe. He was still of right mind. He wouldn't let me bring him up because I wasn't big enough. Would not let me bring him on stage. I, 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 I got people... That wouldn't even let pay me because I couldn't stand them so much. So you can't even pay me. Get get the money to somebody else. You can't even fucking pay me. Don't talk to me. Paul said that or you? No, me. Oh no, he just said Who, who's bringing me up? They go, oh, Gary Owens is a new guy. He goes, oh, he's not big enough. I was like, what the fuck? And so literally, I had to bring up Guy Tory. Guy Tory had to bring up Paul Mooney. I was hosting the show. I go, I'm gonna bring up back up Guy, <laughs> and I stayed on stage. And then Guy Did brought you? him up. I go, this is so weird. <laughs> oh no, he's not big enough. So what? He's Paul Mooney. He can do that. Mm -hmm. Legend. And don't you say a motherfucker word about I Paul. I didn't say. He said when he was in his right mind. It was 20. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, I hit you with this mother. Don't you say nothing about Well, I Paul. mean, that's not a bad thing. Don't. That's like saying when Red Fox was alive. He's dead. He's not alive right now. It's not bad. It's, it's what it is. It's, and what is it? He's not who he used to be. Paul Moon. Who is? Okay. Cat call back it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to stall. I don't stall. Why won't he so call I you got back? A photo, so I got a photo shoot you because go. I am a go. Savage X Fenty lingerie ambassador for Rihanna. My old Man, ass. you met her? Can you get around yeah. on the podcast? Can you get no. around on my podcast? Why? Why would I do that? If she was going to do a podcast, why wouldn't I have her on my own show again? Who's the biggest comedian you've had on your podcast? I don't have nobody on my show. Oh, it's just you? Yeah, I've only oh. had two people. Red Grant came because I was going to do his radio show mm -hmm. after mine, so he came to my studio, sort of crashed the thing, and that was fun. And my daughter. I've only had two people on. Uh, my daughter's in Coming to America as well. No! She's, she's a dancer. Of, oh, I thought she was one of the penis cleaners. No. <laughs> The royal penis is clean, your highness. Three, is that Lunell's daughter? Two, one. <laughs> I had to count down for five. <laughs> no, her mama does that. Can you, but can you imagine you <laughs> like this? Never. That's my baby. That's my but, baby. No, but literally, when Coming to America came out, there was a whole family. When she came out the fucking water, titties out, that's my baby. Well, they're, they're, you know, that is, those are somebody's daughters. Right. You know? There's literally a you know, mother My going. daughter is dancing with Tiana Taylor. Who is the sexiest bitch? When you see her, her in this coming to America, no. Real. When you see her in coming to America, though, you, and she sings a Prince song. Mm. Her body, and I was so mad one day Zero. when I saw her. She got there's more fat in this cup of motherfucking coffee than there is on Tiana Taylor's body. Let me tell you. Let me tell you my issue with Tiana Taylor. What is your issue? I was at. You want me to call is, her? No. <laughs> this was like 11, 12 years ago, and I'm at Roscoe's. And Which I one? Over, Gower? Uh, Pico and Rivera, right? Oh, Pico. Yeah. Pico and LeBrea. LeBrea, I'm sorry. I look over, and it's Tiana Taylor, and she's, she's, she's cool, but she's not as big as she is now. But, you know. Of course. Just 
crushing fucking fried chicken waffles. I'm like this. What the fuck? And then, like, you see her body. I'm like, I hate motherfuckers eat whatever they want. She just had a baby, and I tell you, her stomach is as hard as this fucking yeah. thing. She's really, really exotic, and she's so fucking sexy in this movie yeah. that you just go, ooh, yeah. shit. That's fuck the way yeah. it's going to be All right. when you see her. <sighs> Can't wait. I'm telling you. Man. I'm telling you. And then there's other surprises and stuff like that. I know there's a lot of surprise guests. I wasn't one of them. I don't know why. They had every comic but me. And did not have every Fucking. comic but you. They only had me and Michael Blackson and Arsenio and, and Eddie. And Leslie. And Leslie. And Jermaine Fowler. He's a stand-up. He He's a stand-up. Oh, yeah, Jermaine. He had a lot of stand-ups. Jermaine got Tiffany. Little... Tiffany's not in it. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought she was. There was a there was a poster oh, yeah. that somebody superimposed her on there. Oh, Tim, Tim I need to do that. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna fucking <laughs> I put by, yourself. I'm gonna put myself in the <laughs> way. Tag me in that shit. Yeah. Please. Like, make sure you check out this new uh, team. Make sure we do a coming to America poster and just superimpose uh, me like yeah. I'm in it. And then tag me when you post that. Yeah. Got, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it the week the podcast comes do, out. Do, like, if you my make co-star. the rounds, if you make the rounds like Bernie Sanders, I'm surprised they haven't put Bernie Sanders on the coming to America. All right, poster. right. <laughs> he was everywhere. He was all on yeah. my. They were people were putting him together with me and all kind of stuff. Yeah. That shit was crazy. All right, well, this has been fun, Gear. Um, gotta go. Let's pump it one more time. YouTube page. Hey Lunell on YouTube. H-E-Y-L-U-E-N-E-L-L -L -L on YouTube. Live every Wednesday from 3 to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can figure it out in your own time zone. And follow me on Instagram at Lunell, just L-U-E-N-E-L. And Cat Cell is 323 818 318 It's not even 322. I'm sure he's got some. His 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 it's it's probably like Fucking Maine, his area code. Because only Cat would have a Maine number. Well, you will never yeah. know. I, you? <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know. All right, Lunell, thanks. It's been it's been real, Gary. Yeah. You're going to come on Hey Lunell, right? I am coming on Hey okay. Lunell. And uh, I promise you'll be my first three-timer whenever <laughs> that comes around. Uh, <clears throat> okay, we'll see about all that. All right.